Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today is another episode in our mini series, things you can do using mini charm packs. And today I've made a glasses case, or it could even be a sunglasses case. So it fits my bigger sunglasses or the glasses that I'm wearing. So what do you need to make this case? So if you've got a pack of mini charms, you will be able to make two of these because what I've done is, as you can see here already, I've joined 18 mini charms together in pairs. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And you need that for each case if you're going to do it this size. So then I've put a piece of wadding underneath and this is perfect for using up all those scrap pieces of wadding. When you trim up a quilt, when you finish quilting, you've usually got a piece about this size. What do you do with it? So this is perfect. So I'm now going to just trim this up. I've already used 505 glue and I've attached my squares to my wadding. So I'm just going to trim this up using my rotary cutter. So I've trimmed that up and then I'm going to take a piece of fabric which measures 18 by, I think it's two and a quarter. Let me just double check because obviously we've lost a bit in our um, joining together. Sorry, not two and a quarter. Whatever am I thinking? Four and a quarter. So this measures, let's start again. This piece measures 18 by four and a quarter. So we need a piece of lining fabric like this here. So that needs to measure 18 by four and a quarter. So let me just measure that piece of fabric. I just need to give it a little trim. I think I need to trim off at the ends. So let's just tidy up that one end here. And then I'm going to measure 18 inches. And then we're going to go to the machine because I'm going to join that and put in right sides together. And I'm going to join that up using a quarter of an inch seam. So we're just going to go to the sewing machine now to join all of that together. So I've got my walking foot on because we're going to be sewing through our wadding and two layers of fabric. And what we need to do is we need to leave a little gap so that we can turn this through. So I'm going to start at one end. In fact, I am just going to pop a couple of pins in just to hold that. Let me just do it round here so you can see what I'm doing. So I just want to hold that in place. So I'm just going to pop a couple of pins in there. So I'm going to leave a little gap here for turning through. And so I'm going to start over here and I'm going to do a quarter of an inch seam.
And then I'm just going to check that I've caught everything in because there's nothing worse than turning it around the other way and finding that you've missed some. So I'm just having a little check. I've gone off a little bit here, but I think if I have that as the inside of my case, it's not gonna matter once I've managed to close this gap down. So I'm just gonna trim off the corners and then I'm gonna turn it through. So I've left the gap here for turning through and what I'm going to do is just carefully snip off my corners, making sure that I don't go through the stitching on my wadding. And then I'm going to turn this through. So the lining's on the inside and our lovely little charm squares are on the outside. In fact, it's a bit fiddly because there's a bit of bulk going on here. Right, and then I'm going to very carefully poke out my corners. I'll start at this end. There we are. And then we're going to give that a good press and we're going to top stitch the ends. So here and here. So we're going to close our gap. So I'm just gonna tuck that inside there and give it a good press so that when I top stitch, I've actually then closed that gap. And this is also the time to decide where you want the top of your glasses case to be. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute when I go back to the other camera. I'm just gonna close that gap and press that down there like that. Binding clips are quite good for this if you want to hold it still to close this gap. We'll get rid of that blunt pin. Why is it we all put our blunt pins back in the pot, but we all do it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Right, so now is the time to decide where I want the front of my case to be because that's going to go up like that and then that's going to fold over the top. So do I want that on the outside or do I want that on the inside? So I'm just gonna have a play around a moment. So as you can see on this one, I've got five, five squares going up and then I've got this coming over here like this. So I think I'm probably gonna go that way but then I think, oh, actually, I don't know if I want those two navies next to each other. So I'm going to turn it the other way, make a decision. I think I'm going to go this way. Yep, I'm going to go that way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to machine my gap closed there and there. And then I'm going to bring up the sides and I'm going to stitch all the way down. And this is why it's really important to have your walking foot on because there's a lot of bulk for us to go through. So I'm going back over to the sewing machine to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this gap here. And I'm not doing a quarter of an inch seam. I'm going really, really near to the edge. And the other thing I would say is when you're going to sew through so many layers, because in a moment when we fold this up, we're going to go through four layers of fabric and two layers of wadding. 
Another thing you might want to do is pop a new needle in. And jeans needles are really good for top stitching through this many layers because they're designed to go through stronger layers of fabric. So I usually put a jeans needle in for this kind of project. going to tidy that up a bit. And I'm going to fold that up. And I'm going to come down the side from this point here. So I'm sewing both pieces together now. So because it's going to be at the edge and where you're going to keep opening it to pop your glasses in, you're going to need a little bit more strength. So I'm just going to go backwards and forwards on that. And then I'm just going to join up where we did our closing of the gap just to top stitch down, just so we carry on with this line of stitching. Just going to trim these threads up here just to tidy it all up. And now we'll go back over to the desk. So now we've sewn up the sides, the next thing to do is to put a popper on. So we would just fold that flap down. I've just put a little coloured popper like this, but you could put a press stud popper and then a big button on top. Now, you will have noticed that the one that I had for my sunglasses is actually slightly bigger. So the one I've just shown you today, there was 18 squares in it, and this one, there was 20. But you can still get two cases out of a pack of mini charms. So this one is ideal for my sunglasses. And then this one will be ideal for my regular glasses. So as always, have fun. I hope you're enjoying our mini series and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.